Hello boaters, welcome to Narrowboat Journeys. We're on the Staffordshire and Worcestershire Canal and I've moored up here just on the top side of Rodbaston Lock and we're going to head southwards through Gailey and then on to almost to Coven. On the way we'll be going through three locks, so let's have a look at the map. Pause the video if it's not on screen long enough for you. We're starting at the top of the map and then moving southwards down towards the bottom of the map. As you can see, the motorway, which is the red line, veers away from the canal, so things get a lot quieter after this point. So, without further ado, let's go boating. There's a little lane at Rodbaston Lock. And if you cross over there and follow the lane along, it takes you over the motorway. And on the other side of that, there's two large reservoirs which are CRT owned and you can walk around them. Apart from the motorway noise, this is quite a nice place to moor up. Now, during the first part of this trip, we go through three locks. And here's the first one, which is called Boggs Lock. After that comes Brick Kiln Lock and then Gailey Lock. From then onwards it's a straight cruise all the way. Since this is quite a long trip and we've done plenty of locks before, I'm going to skip through these quite quickly. Gailey Lock is just on the other side of that bridge up ahead and beside that strange castle-like building, which is also a gift shop. Also, immediately above the lock are some CRT Botus facilities.
The boater's facilities are on the right, and on the left there is a boatyard. You need to go very careful through here. There's a lot of boats moored up, double-breasted in some cases. Um, on the left we've got long-term moorings, which I think are all part of the boatyard. And on the right we have visitor moorings. I bet this gets interesting when the canal's busy. Listen to all that lovely bird song. Now unfortunately, my sound recorder up at the front of the boat, at this point it started to pick up a nasty rattle from the cratch area somewhere. I think it was the gas bottles knocking together. So I'm afraid I'm going to have to subject you to some of my music instead. The canal now passes through a large chemical factory which is on both sides of the canal and warning signs telling you not to stop because it could be dangerous. Twenty years ago when I moored here I did stop here overnight um, but those signs weren't there then. There's not a great deal of things to see here. I mean there's large buildings on either side of the canal and a few pipes crossing it um, but the canal is actually very pretty as we go through. I don't know what sort of chemicals are being used or made here, um, but it does sound like it could be pretty dangerous, so best not hang around. We're past the danger zone now. This is bridge 77, so it should be safe to moor up on the other side of it.
These are private moorings on the left. They look absolutely lovely. Over to the left, you can't quite see it. There's a beautiful lake. There it is. I took a still picture as I passed. I don't know what that is over there on the left, but they had lots of huge reels of electrical cables all stacked up outside. Here there seems to be a fishing competition going on. Hope I can find a mooring place. I'm planning to stop between bridges 72 and 71, which is very close to the village of Coven. And yes, the fishermen have stopped. Time to moor up and let the cats out. Thank you very much for watching. The journey will continue, of course, in the next video. So until then, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.